Well, yeah. um, yeah, I guess. So the next step is, is like in order to authenticate users and we have to be able to create users and like store users and, you know, store passwords. Uh, and so we need a place to do that. Um, so I was considering render, um, because they have support for, uh, Postgres databases mm. that you can just spin up. We like bum, that. Bum, bum. Yeah, I like this. So it's a hosted Postgres. And I was thinking, um, so it has internal external connectivity, right? So like we could even just work with this locally. We could probably set up a testing. The other thing we could do too is just like run Postgres locally for a while inside of um, like a Docker container. But I think because we're already using a serverless function for our GraphQL API, we might as well just set up a database and connect to it right i think that's a great idea yeah let's, right, so let's, I, let's check out render yeah i don't know what's going to happen when i create this database so let's just do this mm -hmm. um okay so downgrading plans okay yeah yeah that's fine um so this is our current plan which is plenty we don't need like a ton of storage right now um so yeah i guess i do this and then I hit create database. Oh wait, am I in the right? Yes, cool. <laughs> um, all right. Make sure we're in the right login. Yeah, yeah. I just actually tweeted about that today. The hardest part of DevRel is making sure that you are logged in to like correctly, like to yeah. the right services. All right, name. We need a name for this database actually, and uh, we're gonna call this. Um, uh we'll call this journey dev i should look at this and see if they want like friendly name so friendly name yeah sure. we'll call it journey dev right because like we're devin sure. uh this will be generated and this will be generated i think that's fine mm -hmm. oh cool look at that wow that 